I'm Chris. Let's look at some stuff. Sound good? All right. So we're on our classic Warrior Horses site, and we're going to go to a list we've seen before and go to our disasters list, where the horses track potential disasters and their plan to avoid them. And here you see we've already got a little bit of formatting with our classic font awesome Pooh Storm uh, icon. We won't be covering that today. Instead, I wanted to cover some of the stuff you can do out of the box. So this is some custom formatting, but what if I just wanted to throw something on there pretty quick? So let's take a look. We've looked at the design mode stuff before, but there's been a lot of improvements, and I think it's worth taking a look at again. So one of the first things to do, we're going to add a new choice column, and we'll call this severity. And right away, you'll notice We've already got some formatting. You'll see that from now on, choice fields are using formatting by default. So that's pretty awesome. So in this case, we'll throw a few of these in here. We'll say, uh, what in progress? Sounds good. All right, and we'll call this one done. All right, in review. Kind of our classics here. We'll add another one here. We'll call this one uh, has issues. Uh, let's have one more here. We'll call it blocked. Okay. So you can see I've already got some color choices here. I can go ahead and do my formatting before I've even created the column. All right, so we can say no fill and hit save. And so let's add uh, some sample data here. Let's go ahead and done another column real quick so we can get that right as well. Let's add a date and time. We're going to add a due date. Okay. We'll just save that. So if we edit in grid view, which is our old quick edit, all right, much better name. Let's come in here. We'll just kind of set these uh, quickly. We'll say that one's done, right? This one is in review. And you'll see even here, we've already got our formatting showing up right here inside the grid view as we set these, which is pretty awesome. So we'll say it's blocked. We'll say this one has issues. Let's make sure we just got them all here. And this one is in progress. Sounds good. And let's add some uh, dates here. So we'll put this one a couple days ago, right? We'll say in review is, is really a while ago. You know, these things are, are due a while ago. This one's, you know, due in the future, sure. This one, uh, we'll say, is due today. And let's throw one more on there, just, you know, way off in the future somewhere. Okay, that looks great. I did that right here. Let's see. Actually, let's make the yeah, ask good. Okay, so let's exit the grid view. So now we've got some data to work with. But you'll see, we've already got formatting, and all we did was create the column. Now, if we come in here and we go to column settings and format this column, you can see it's chosen by default this background colors design mode, which is nice, right? It really just adds the nice uh, rectangle behind it. Instead, I'm going to switch that over to choice pills. All right, and you see I can hit this edit styles. Now I've got some options here. Let's make this a little easier to see. We'll make that more focused. All right, so if we've got this, that's cool. So our in progress is blue. Maybe we don't want that. So again, we can change those colors here. But you'll notice we have this other piece right here called more styles. So if we click that, we get these extended styles. So we can do things like add these icons, right? So for whatever reason, Microsoft and all their wisdom has decided out of the 2,000 icons, you can choose between 13. Uh, but we'll see a way to change that here in just a little bit. Uh, but either way, this is amazing, right? I can change all sorts of stuff. I can change size, boldness, uh, the font colors, all of that. I've got this nice breadcrumb navigation up here to easily get back and forth. So I can go in here. Let's add icons for each of these. We'll put a check mark. Oh, we can go back into edit styles. Click this for in review, more styles. And let's put that there. All right, we'll go back one more. Now we've got has issues. And let's add an icon for that one. We'll say that. That looks there. Uh, we'll, you know what? Let's do this one for has issues. That sounds good. Now right, we already used that. Let's use that. Okay, so we come back here and we've got our blocked. Now let's put a big X for that. Okay, so now look at what we did there. So now we hit save. Never once do we have to see any JSON or any other fancy formatting stuff. Complete UI wizard to do that, which is awesome. And later if I come in here and let's say I need to add a new, a new one, right? So I go to column settings and edit. You'll see again, it's all integrated right here. And I want to add another choice. You know, and this one we'll call it canceled, right? And we'll hit save. All right, let's add, uh, let's add a new item here. All right, so this one we'll call it uh, Ghost Horses Unresolved Issues. Ah! Right, and our plan for this one is uh, go on a fun, loving adventure to solve the mystery, you know, return the treasure and restore the 
Declaration <laughs> of Independence. That, that makes me laugh. Okay. All right. And then we can choose our severity of canceled. Uh, we'll put a due date of, I don't know, something just way out there, right? So this is way out from the future. We'll say the in October. So we save that. You see immediately it's got this new thing. It's all taken care of. And in fact, if we go to format this column, you can see we have a new option here. It's automatically picked up our new, under the choice here. We can come in here and we can change that as, as needed, right? So for canceled, maybe we want this nice gray and we'll add a, you know, let's add a, an icon of some sort. Let's go thumbs down. That sounds great. Right. So you can see maintaining these and adding these is super easy using the design mode wizards, right? I didn't have to do anything crazy. Um, and I've just got all that. And as I, as this list changes, I need new status, right? Or new severity fields for my choice fields. All of that just kind of works. It works very nicely if you've got uh, fill in your own, right? You can have a style defined for that. Really, really cool stuff, right? And in fact, at any time, if I want to jump over, you can. So if I want to go a little more hardcore, right? I want to use one of the samples or something like that. I can format this column and you'll see down here I've got this advanced mode. Now I can switch to that and you'll see this is what's making all that magic happen. Now this is using the old uh, AST format. So maybe a little different in the formulas you used before. But if you want to run in here so you can see these are all the uh, background colors. So this is for the done, right? Maybe we wanted it the different shade of green. We could say MS, you know, BG color. And we're going to just say green light that sounds exciting right so if we preview that you can see it has a slightly different shade of green or if we come down here because we don't like you know our 13 icon choices we can see so this is our in progress instead of trending 12 maybe we it's in progress we're going to call it heart fill that sounds exciting right so there we go so that's where we can use that as a starting off point and do that now one thing i'd say one big caveat here is the moment you save that and you're no longer using the wizard you lose a lot of that really cool stuff, right? So if I edit this column, I now have that traditional choice fields, right? Because I'm doing more advanced things. I no longer have the ability to, you know, see that thing and add new ones. If I switch back to design mode, it's going to warn me that's all gone. And look, it is all gone. Oh, sad. For now, I'm going to cancel, right? But the idea here, though, is use the out-of-the-box ones to do amazing stuff. And if you want to stick with that, you're going to have some options. But if you want to jump into more advanced stuff, you certainly can. So let's look at uh, another one here, kind of a classic one. So we call them settings and format this column on our due date. Come over here, and we just choose format dates. You can see that it's going to develop some rules here. So by default, it's going to say if it's before today, right, make it yellow. If it is today, make it green and red. Now, normally, I would probably make this one yellow, right? So let's make that yellow, right, because you got last minute thing. Right now, you're good because it hasn't come up yet, right? So easy, easy to do. Right, and again, you can do the advanced stuff where you go to the more styles. Now, what if I want to reflect a little more, right? Um, like, who cares if this is overdue, right? It's Or this one's overdue because it's canceled, right? I don't care. I don't want to mark it as red. I don't want to draw people's attention to it. So how can I do a little more advanced stuff without having to jump into JSON? So if we go back here, instead of this, every column type has this kind of generic rules called conditional formatting. And so let's set this up. So we're going to show all the values as, right? So just by default, we're not going to do anything, right? So that's kind of the default. But let's add a rule. So this rule, we're actually going to look at another column, not due date. Let's look at severity. And we'll say if it's equal to, let's say, done, all right? Or if severity is equal to, let's say, blocked, all right? Or you see I'm just building these rules right in the UI. I can see my severity is equal to... And I can say canceled, right? So any of these three that I would consider, like, no longer does the due date matter, I come down here, and now I can specify a specific value for that, right? So in this case, we're going to come in here, and we're going to, let's go more styles, so we can change that background color. We don't want a background color, and we're going to change it so it's kind of grayed out a little bit, and let's add a check mark, right? Just to show we don't really care about those, but it still shows that data. Now, if we come back here, we can add another rule, right? So these rules will be applied in order. So let's add a rule. So if that didn't apply, let's get this rule. So now we're going to say, let's look at the actual due date. I want to say if it's, you know, before today, we can use a specific date. This time we're just going to use today. All right. So if it's before today, in other words, we're overdue, you know, let's come in here and let's go more styles and let's actually set that fill color to whatever this pink, we'll make it bold. All right. And we're going to put a big, uh, you are bad kind of icon on there, right? And font color, we'll just make that, you know, this nice red, 
right? So now we've got our due dates that are overdue, but they aren't marked as complete, right? So that's pretty awesome. Now if we come back here, let's add just a little more. So let's add another rule, all right? So now let's add a rule for uh, if the due date is today, right? So this is the day it's due, all right? So equal to today. All right, we're going to show this item. Yeah, that yellow looks good, but let's add a, you know, let's go more styles. Let's make it bold. Let's add just a calendar icon, right? So now we have the idea that, oh, these are the ones I've got to get done today, right? And then let's add just one more, right? So we add one more rule here. And we're going to say if the due date is after today, right? So, you know, you've still got time to do this. We're just going to come in here and we're going to say more styles. Let's remove the fill altogether. And let's make it that nice green, right? And we'll make it bold so we can see it better. And we're going to put a thumbs up because you're on track. There we go. And just like that, we've created some pretty complicated rules. And never once do we have to jump into the JSON unless we choose to. And you can see that's just going to work if I add new values in here. Uh, tomorrow when I come back to this list, all of these will be reevaluated, right? So if this one has been marked as done, blocked, or canceled, it's suddenly going to be red, and so on. So this acts as a really great way. Uh, you can just use these design mode wizards to create all sorts of you know, fancy rules without having to really, really jump into the formatting. And the best part is you could create all these rules and then jump into the formatting. So all of the, you know, the switch statements, the if statements are already built for you, and you can just change those values. So if you want to use a very specific shade of red or a different icon, you can jump right in there and do that. All right. So let's review real quick. All right. So design mode. All right. So these are the various wizards that are available right now. There's also one for... Uh, View formatting, which does the alternating rows, which is a, a nice addition. But every single one of them, including the view format, has this conditional formatting type, which lets you to define those rules. And they're, you know, building those is pretty straightforward. You can do the ands or the ors and kind of loop them all together. Again, the, the main thing to note is they apply in order. So the first one is going to apply. And then if that doesn't affect it, it's going to go down the list from there. All right. So when you go there, again, you're going to just be presented with that by by default on several of these column types, you just hit edit styles and you've got all sorts of options. You know, these are pre-selected color classes, which means you can swap them out later with your own classes. They are not your theme colors, however. There is options to choose your theme colors for the font color, but not for the background color inside the UI for whatever reason, but they do look nice in dark mode. So it's, hey, uh, you know, it's a trade off. And then of course, these extended styles. Where you can do all sorts of stuff, which is what I'm really excited about. We didn't even take a look at some of the border options, the icon alignment, uh, but check those out. Just give them a give them a try, play with them. One thing to also note for those that really want to jump in there, every single one of those represents a class. So it's not just setting bold, right? There is a class to make that bold. So if you wanted to use those same classes in your own formats, uh, apply them here, take a look at it, and you can too. All right, and of course, you can always switch to JSON if you want to take a look at some of the samples or some of the other stuff. All right, so this, here you go. Here's the uh, documentation. Check out our samples. There's over 100 samples out there on how to do all this stuff um, if design mode isn't quite cutting it for you. And of course, if you've got some of those icons, you want to use more than those 13, you can you check out flycon.io uh, to find uh, your icons pretty easy. All right, that's all I got. Thanks. Excellent. Thanks, Chris. Really, really great stuff. Um, and it's good to always recap that out of the box capabilities are evolving all the time. So it's good to actually go back and, and see what's always possible there. So rather than ending up doing extensibility and JSON definitions, oh, I can do this already. Wow. Yeah, it's a good example of a evergreen uh, capabilities for sure. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm.